women and children, they have the right to life, they have the right to health, have the right to participation, equity and non-discrimination. Around the world, some 287,000 women die every year from complications during pregnancy or childbirth. And according to recent figures, 6.6 .6 million children have died before reaching their fifth birthday. That's why six United Nations agencies have come together in a joint effort called H4+, to reduce child and maternal mortality rates and ensure that all mothers and children have access to the best possible care to enable them to live healthy and productive lives. Les prestataires ont été formés sur le soin obstétrico et néonatal d'urgence et nous avons formé également des agents de distribution à base communautaire les ADBC. Il y a eu l'étape d'équipement de ces maternités et les journalistes ainsi que les membres de la communauté ont été également briefés sur les gestes qui sauvent. La mort maternelle et aussi infantile ne passera plus dans nos maisons. La formation valait tout son pesant d'or. Avant, il y avait des cas qu'on ne savait pas récupérer. Mais actuellement, si c'est une hémorragie, nous sommes capables de lutter contre ces hémorragies-là. On arrête les hémorragies. Même si c'est une déchirure du col, nous pouvons s'y tirer. Je souhaiterais en ce qu'on puisse penser à former aussi les autres qui travaillent avec moi pour que la structure soit couverte 24 sur 24 heures. This antenatal facility is deep in the Congolese countryside, a very long way from the nearest town. It was built and equipped with international assistance under the auspices of the UN's H4 Plus program. And inside, women spend the last few weeks of their pregnancy under close medical supervision, so that if there is a problem, it doesn't become an emergency, which could threaten both the mother's life and her child's. problem Et on a comme qui ba minga nga ba yambinga na bandi traitement na yaki na 7 mois ah na ko aussi déjà 9 mois Il y a beaucoup de cas qui nous étaient référés en retard la maternité d'attente anticipe certaines complications qui devraient survenir chez certaines femmes qui ont des antécédents ou des femmes qui devraient avoir des complications lors de leur accouchement Un exemple on a un cas d'une femme qui s'appelle Solange. Les deux premières grossesses ont évolué sans problème jusqu'à l'accouchement. Mais les deux derniers ont connu des problèmes. Donc son mari et elle ont jugé bon d'être référés à temps ici. J'ai eu les problèmes de dystocie dynamique. Alors on a voulu avec mon mari à ce qu'on puisse prendre cette décision de faire la ligature tubaire. J'ai perdu la première femme, je dis, dans les problèmes d'accouchement. J'ai cherché à ce que je puisse au moins continuer à voir ma femme en vie et on puisse ensemble au moins prendre en charge les enfants qu'on a. Here in Sierra Leone, more than 3,000 kilometers away from the hills of southwestern DRC, the whole birth process is still widely regarded as a women's issue. Very few men have any idea what's involved. A man should not go to see his wife giving birth. Teenage pregnancy, women die giving birth, and all of these things are shrouded in tradition and secrecy. The pillars of our interventions, very rare situations have targeted men, but you cannot really get the positive or the intended outcomes for reproductive health if you leave the men outside. And until men come to the understanding of the reproductive health challenges that the wives go through and being there with them, you can never be able to get them on board. But now the men engagement thing is moving. Men are reaching out to men. And evidently we're having reduction in maternal mortality. Baratu Lee's husband is one of many men here in Sierra Leone whose attitudes have changed radically. Baratu was 12 or 13 when she had her first child, and she's had nine more since then. She was risking her life 
but not anymore. Now they didn't say for they didn't say back I make family plan. They didn't stop me first. For I can not also because if I, if they not stop me something, my flam I like picking. Yes. If we can not also get something, see the picking fine. We come on fine. We only if we man not tell you for say do one. We know it be afraid for do one. United Nations health officials and others here say that one of the best ways to reduce maternal mortality rates is to increase access to family planning. But they also want to increase the number of properly trained health professionals who can help women and their babies through childbirth. UNICEF is supporting the government in um, taking care of health facilities and um, the overall aim is to help reduce the maternal as well as the infant neonatal childhood mortality, which is quite high in Sierra Leone. Some of the things we do as UNFP Sierra Leone is to create the enabling environment for emergency obstetric care in the health facilities. And we have been supporting midwifery um, training, both pre and in service, with support from the H4, Last year we supported 100 midwives from the two midwifery schools in Sierra Leone. And most of these midwives are now placed in different hospitals, health facilities. DRC and Sierra Leone are just two of the countries that illustrate the huge potential benefits of the H4 Plus approach to women's and children's health. By coordinating the work of the six UN agencies, Tackling root causes as well as immediate needs, it's already delivering real and long-lasting change.